uh, the studies and some facts that uh, 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 some facts that the facts that we have actually very important to us. So of course, uh, the cases, the number of COVID cases in Singapore are raised to twenty six thousand. But do not worry if you are you are taking care of yourself uh, well. Uh, and I believe everybody is in the uh, circuit breaker uh, quite well, taking care of yourself. Uh, most importantly, um, consciously build out our immunity in terms of uh, taking a good dietary fats, uh, good dietary um, in terms of vegetables and fruits and drink a lot of waters. Yeah, so I, we can see, uh, although there is a lot of uh, new cases and also um, uh, new cases and also hospital cases in the chart and all, but the the recovered case recovered cases is also increasing. So this is a it's a good sign, you see. And and I believe uh, Singapore, uh, the Ministry of Health is doing a great job in terms of uh, flattening the curve, yeah, the the, the uh, spreading curve, uh, to control the pandemic, yeah. So uh, the next, I will show this uh, population chart where the population pyramids in Singapore, what I understand here is, whoa, Singapore has a very pro productive population. The mean age is 42. So it's the same age, almost same age as uh, my age now. Yeah, so majority of poly uh, population is between 20 to 70. So they are very efficient product performance base. So what I mean here is healthcare is utmost important for this kind of population pyramid. As we can see from here, uh, we've, uh, I believe uh, Singapore uh, uh, government is focused on the uh, healthcare, uh, very, very highly focused on the healthcare because uh, health, uh, Singapore healthcare has been very renowned, uh, is the number, uh, is a top 10 healthcare system in the world, yeah. So what we st stress here is, even though with this, Singapore also, Singaporeans or even Malaysian will not run away from the death causes that is affecting the, Malay uh, the whole world. Yeah. So cardiovascular diseases is still number one. You can say cancer is number two. So what we understand here, this Number one, number two have been there for the past 10 years, have been there for the past 10 years. Uh, respiratory diseases and low, lower respiratory disease infection uh, is ranking number three and fourth. Di uh, dementia is number five. So this world threatening of uh, death causes is affecting every one of us. Um, yeah, every, every one of us in the world. And I believe after 2020, the respiratory cases, the diseases will increase because after the coronavirus attack, the pandemic of coronavirus, so this respiratory and lower respiratory will climb up, overtake cancer. But we will not, uh, we cannot take or deny that cardiovascular was still ranking number one. Now we're still ranking number one and it's affecting every one of us. Yeah. So, what I'm taking here is now the next I'm taking. Uh, I can be taking to you uh, to the the next controversial, yeah. Because I've been uh, in the twenty years in pharmaceuticals, I also sell statins drugs for five years. So then the anti cholesterol agent for prevention. There is study showing that can anti cholesterol agent taking for prevention. Uh, people are taking lower risk. Uh, cardiovascular risk people also taking anti cholesterol drugs as a prevention, can they? But a lot of healthcare, healthcare con uh, uh, professionals are objecting or combating this kind of uh, claims. Statins have served no purpose in lowering cholesterol or reduce your mortality rate. The fatal rate also doesn't show. Let's next. I would like to see a lot of healthcare, uh, uh, healthcare uh, professionals, doctors or professors have objecting this kind of claim. So they don't want it taken as a prevention. Yeah? Dietary, dietary uh, changes and lifestyle changes should be the primary of 
uh, changing of uh, reversing reversing the um, metabolic disorders. Yeah. So next, okay, you can see statins walls. Yeah. So Dr. Marianne Damasi and saying saying that wow, a lot of people have been camouflaged by whoa studies. Statins can reduce your, your cardiovascular risk by 40% or 36%. In actual facts, when we drill down into the clinical trials, the clinical trials, can you see this is the most famous uh, statins group, Atawa statins, compared to placebo, the fatal rate, you see uh, the circle, circle fatal rates, 3% and 2%. So the mortality, mortality rates doesn't have a difference. It's just 1.1%, less impressive. So why should I take anti-cholesterol drugs? This is a, ponder, a, a question to ponder. Said. Why should we take anti-cholesterol drugs since the mortality rate doesn't, uh, doesn't have a much different compared to those who don't take it? Because placebo, placebo mean here is those who didn't take the drugs. Lah. Yeah. Those who take drugs and those who they didn't take the drugs, same mortality rate, almost the same. Different is just 1.1. So why should we take anti-cholesterol drugs? So the next will be, let's see the plant-based diet. Okay. In 2017, yeah, we have this couple of metabolic diet diseases, uh, uh, the uh, plant-based diets uh, published in 2017 in PubMed and showing that a plant-based diet may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease event by estimated 40% and the risk of cerebral vascular disease event by 29%. With diets alone, you already re can reduce the risk of developing metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. So, properly planned vegetarian or healthy vegetarian diets with come with your lifestyle changes you can already achieve an optimal result and reverse, whatever they say here is reverse the metabolic disorders. It's proved to reverse the arteriosclerosis. So the next diet, what do you say? Dietary approach in optimal health. Okay, we, we have Mediterranean diet, everyone know of it. And from the extension of Mediterranean diet, there is a Leon diet heart studies, okay, demonstrate rich in alpha linolenic acid uh, was more effective in secondary prevention of cardiovascular uh, coronary uh, events. So this group of people is an extension of Mediterranean diet study. So 605 of them, okay, they separate to two groups. One is low carb diet, one is with this uh, Leon diet. How they take the diet? They still follow the food pyramid. 30% of the calories, uh, you remember our food pyramids, right? Later, I will show you food pyramids. 30% of the total calorie intake should be coming from the fats, right? So the 30% of the fats, uh, they specifically insist 8% come from saturated fat, 13% come from monounsaturated mono fat, 5% come from polyunsaturated fat. And they take cholesterol daily. So after 48 months, this diet group have 50 to 70 lower risk of mortality in heart disease compared to those in low fat diet. I mean you don't they have a very minimum fat diet in their so compared to those. So with this diet alone, we can already can see we the the uh, the the benefits of the benefits of uh, uh, good fats in our diet, yeah? So, and the, the other point I want to stress here is 48 months. So, it's not a one or two day time of thing because even the drugs will not, will not have this kind of effect, giving you an effect that two days, after two days, your cholesterol is going to be normal forever or your metabolic disorder will go away. So no drugs can guarantee that. So for food, if you are using food to prevent or reverse your metabolic disorder, 48 months means four years. Four years long-term dietary lifestyle changes help to reduce the risk of mortality. If you can reduce the mortality of heart disease and without taking any drugs, 
you don't suffer from any side effects of the drugs. You don't have a muscle ache forever. You don't have brain fog, on and off of brain, a brain fog. And you do not suffer from dementia. So cholesterol, cholesterol, I'm here later on. I will also stressing on the cholesterol because cholesterol is, is very important in our body. It's a part of the lipid profile. It's part of the lipid profile. It's very, it's having the very functional, uh, it's a very functional molecules that help our body to digest the fat, synthesize the fat, and metabol metabolize the fats. Yeah. So this, uh, this claim actually is coming from Preventive Cardiology, a companion uh, to Brown World's Heart Disease. So it's a book from Roger Blumenthal, yeah? So this, uh, this, this book actually claiming that. The next, so I'm showing you that optimum. Last time when we studied nutrition, nutrition is to obtain the food necessary to, for, to health and growth, using nutrition to keep your, you alive and functioning. No, now the paradigm has shifted. We have changed to optimum nutrition. Eating the right amount of nutrients in a, a proper for uh, is in a proper way and scheduled time or scheduled uh, 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 timetable to achieve the best performance and lifetimes uh, beneficial to health. So you are using nutrition to maximize your health and happiness and well-being. So people are using this a lot of plenty of studies diets is just by changing the macronutrients in your diets you can get an optimum health of course lifestyle changes is still very important where coming you need to still exercise you need to still uh, uh, get in touch of a lot of positive mind just get yourself uh, stable stress-free or manage the stress uh, effectively this is still a uh, still the lifestyle in management that you need to obtain. Then, why I'm just stressing the, the above? Because coronavascular disease, corona heart disease, is affecting the younger generation. Younger generation is as young as 30-year-old, male or female. So, the child of ours are affecting with this because of the diet. So I'm showing here is, of course, sorry about the, uh, there are some Chinese word here, but I can explain. <laughs> so this is the artery, yeah. So from here, what's the, this, uh, this uh, uh, image actually show us? Our circular system, the blood circular system is very uh, fantastic. It's fantastic because we can, we can prevent our plaque, uh, the plaque formation, we can prevent the plaque formation for almost 30 years ahead. Yeah, you see the plaque formation starting from 10 years old, 20 years old. By the time your MRI, the CT scan, your MRI can scan the plaque or your angiogram can scan this plaque, it's by already 30 years old. If you're still not controlling your diet or lifestyles by 40 years old, Oh, the, the cardiologist will tell you, hey, you have 50% uh, clock in your artery or your peripheral, vas uh, peripheral artery here and there. So, so our circular, station, uh, circular system actually prevents from forming the plaque. They themselves can form, can prevent from it. So how we help our body to prevent from forming plaque or reverse the plaque formation? by changing our diet and lifestyles, by choosing the right macronutrients, by choosing the right quantity, the correct, uh, the good quality of uh, macronutrients. So atherosclerosis is not just because of the cholesterol. I'm here stressing again, it's not because of the cholesterol and it's because of the inflammation, oxidation, and the injuries at the blood vessels and the cholesterol qualities and the, the blood qualities. Sometimes diabetes is one of the factors that contribute the most to arteriosclerosis. Yeah. So in the past, 
we always focus on LDL. Oh, your LDL is high. Uh, quickly, I'm alarming. Everybody ring the alarm bell and uh, I'll need to take anti-cholesterol drugs. And from here, you can see this is the journal of uh, uh, European Heart Journals, yeah, 2014. You can see those who have super high arteriosclerosis or calcification of the uh, artery, right? Their cholesterol actually is not high. It doesn't spike up. Their cholesterol is still normal. And I would like to tell you the fact is, yes, cholesterol is doing their job. Cholesterol, LDL cholesterol is to bring the, our fats, our blood lipids to be absorbed into our body. So LDL cholesterol is just, is just a career man. Yeah, it's just a career man. Doing their job, if you have high fat food, high carbohydrate uh, diet, then LDL have to come out. Your liver have to produce LDL to come out and uh, pick up all the triglycerides all the blood lipids in your blood to be absorbed into the cell yeah so he is just doing the job so don't afraid it's not that the lowest ldl uh, you are the healthier you are no so more and more studies showing that ldl is not just uh the contribution to cardiovascular events like stroke cardio uh, ischemic heart attack no uh, this is the one of the factors. Blood pressure and diabetes and also triglyceride is one of the factors that contributing to arteriosclerosis and CAC means calcification. Calcification means information happen. So how does it information uh, how does this information happen when your blood is full filling with blood sugars, blood pressure also uncontrollable? Then it happened, the strokes are curiosity. So oxidization, oxidization and inflammation is the cause of, of all for CVD and C, uh, CHD, coronary heart disease and coronary vascular disease. Yeah. So here, I will tell you that International Journal of Cardiologists, they themselves already rectify that hypertensive, especially blood hyperpressure, especially diastolic, as well as your insulin, play a very big role in terms of uh, arteriosclerosis, contributing to arteriosclerosis. So if you don't want your, the plaque to form so fast, then you need to control your blood pressure, you need to control the triglycerides, you need to control the oxidation and inflammation in the body, especially take care of your blood sugars. Yeah, The higher blood sugar that you have, or uh, blood sugar that you have in your body it proved to increase the information incidence yeah so this is come the <laughs> ahead of the curve dr joseph mccullough and saying that the higher cholesterol you have associated with the, the longer life you have so this is why i need to tell you cholesterol is playing a very good bigger part in your uh, in your in your life because cholesterol is a hormone production it pro a pro produce your estrogen your progesterone your aldosterone your cortisone and it's also vitamin production vitamin d is very important now uh, for those who are now in the circuit breaker i i would really I encourage you all to have a 10 minutes to 15 minutes of exposure to sunlight because vitamin d uh, activated vitamin D is only through uh, expo uh, exposure to sunlight and taking good dietary fats. Yeah, bowel production cholesterol is good in bowel production and cell membrane support. So cholesterol very effective in terms of maintaining the membrane structure integrity and fluidity. So you are what you eat. Because why I show this? Because 30% of the diet three is coming from fats, right? So membranes is the hallmark of uh, the organ, uh, organization, uh, uh, the organism. So the skin you have now, the physical, outward physical complexion that you have now is what our lifestyles or our eating, ha uh, eating habits that uh, we, we always uh, taking in 
is what forming the physical uh, that we have now. So the health status that uh, you're having now also contributing by your lifestyles and your eating habit. So membranes is very important because why? Cell membranes is part of the immunity. Yeah, your beside your your respiratory system, your cell membranes is part of your uh, immunity to shun away from your the virus and bacterial intrusion. So if you have an uninflamed cell membranes, you will prevent from the uh, bacteria or uh, viruses intrude into our body freely. So take care of your cell membrane. Build out a very strong wall is a uh, is main function or main important thing for us to uh, to prevent from getting infectious disease and also uh, getting weak. Yeah. So that's the next thing. So six basic nutrients. So everybody will know that, oh, okay, this is the six basic nutrients. Just now what I show the diets, right? The diet studies, the Lyon diet study and Mediterranean studies, just by changing the macronutrients, this is the macronutrients that we, sh we show you, proteins, carbohydrates and lipids. And carbohydrates, of course, cons consists of fibers, minerals and vitamins. And these three macronutrients, if you change the quality and quantity of the uh, macronutrients, you can get a optimal health benefits from it. So there's a studies, four year studies have shown you that a diet rich in uh, alpha linoleic acids and 30% of uh, good fats, almost 20% of poly uh, unsaturated, unsaturated fats in your diet will prevent you from coronary diseases. So here I again re-emphasizing good, uh, good fats will develop good cholesterol, good cell membranes. Yeah. So that is why a lot of studies has been showing that why body fat is so important to us. We have three types of uh, body fats inside our body. Uh, I believe everyone know triglyceride is the lipids in our blood. Phospholipids is the fats that form our cell membranes and cholesterol. Yeah, cholesterol form the hormones, vitamin D, and we have LDL cholesterol and high, uh, high HDL, uh, HDL cholesterol, so uh, lipoprotein. HDL actually is uh, very effective in metabolize the LDL. So that's why changing the lifestyle by increasing your act physical activities is very important to increase HDL. And consuming good uh, fats, especially unsaturated fat, polyunsaturated fat will increase the HDL uh, uh, in our body. Yeah. So here I will stay here. Uh, you see the land and saturated uh, saturation of the fatty acid from phospholipid and triglyceride affect the quality of the membrane. Yeah. The shorter the chain fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acid will making the membranes more flexible. You want a more permeable uh, uh, membranes and uh, elastic membranes and can last you forever yeah, from any emotion, any blood pressure. So it's better to take up unsaturated fat. It's better to take up unsaturated fat, follow uh, the diets that uh, I showed just now, yeah? especially the plant-based diet. So it's very important, the type of fatty acid that just now I show you, yeah, our fatty acids divides by two saturated and unsaturated. So saturated is also important to us, but our body can produce saturated fats. Yeah, like the blue color box saturated fat, like your lard, like your ghee, uh, coconut oil, your palm oil. Yeah, so it's it's uh, it's already part of the diet, and most of us are consuming high saturated fat. Unsaturated uh, unsaturated fat is comprised of two. One is polyunsaturated, one is monounsaturated. And polyunsaturated fat has been proven to improve the cardiovascular uh, disease and also the blood circulation uh, systems 
uh, quite exponent, uh, exponentially. So omega-3, omega-6, DHA, and EPA, ALA have proven to improve our body from getting uh, uh, our body from uh, get, uh, getting in the coronary heart disease or even metabolic disorders. Yeah. So these fats, uh, I believe uh, it's very common to all of us and it's easily available everywhere. And uh, one of the things that we need to take care of is the hydrogenated oils and the trans fats that hidden in the food. So this, this, this hydrogenated oils and trans fats Artificial trans fats has been proven to in increase the bad cholesterol and increase the risk of heart disease. Yeah, I'm not saying the cholesterol is good or not good. It's just that once you purposely, uh, because of your diet, you purposely increase the bad cholesterol in your diet or by increasing the triglycerides, the risk of having heart disease or narrowing of your uh, coronary uh, blood vessels is even higher. Yeah, so saturated fat. Yeah, just now I already explained to you unsaturated fat like uh, uh, incha oil. Incha oil has very power, uh, very good uh, quality of polyunsaturated fat. Omega 3, 6, 9, almost 93% of the seed actually comprise of omega, uh, polyunsaturated fats. So that's why. I would say here is if you are consuming bad fats in a diet, you will have a very fragile membrane and uh, the contribution to arteriosclerosis or causes arteriosclerosis will be quite high. Yeah, so that is why if you want to have a healthy, healthy body, yeah, uh, optimal well being, it's better to consume. Omega three and six uh, polyunsaturated fats, rather than taking anti cholesterol drugs as your prevention. What well, I mean is prevention or maintaining good health. But if you already suffer, you are uh, suffering from stroke. Yeah, you already have is a uh, uh, um, hypercholesterol uh, patients, and then you you can't uh, avoid from taking cholesterol drugs because you are very quite high risk, especially diabetic patient. But yet, if you want to reverse this kind of condition, there's a lot of studies have proven that changing of your lifestyles and diet by applying the Leon diet, just now Mediterranean diet, strictly for four years, you can see a tremendous improvement in terms of your parameters, the metabolic parameters. Yeah. So it's already have studies showing that it's just that how disciplined are you? Yeah, how diligently going through this kind of diets? Yeah, so unsaturated fatty acids, omega 369, is a very important. Uh, sorry, uh, wait, why is it going back? <laughs> uh, So omega-3 keeps our human cell. This is plenty of studies showing that omega-3 keeps the human cell uh, healthy. Yeah, just now, as I showed you, the shorter fatty acids and also uh, polyunsaturated fats, ALA, DHA, and EPA, have been proven to improve the permeability and the flexibility of the membranes. So this, uh, we do have the studies to show that as well as if you have a good fat in your body, your body will have the raw materials to build up cholesterol. 70% of your uh, cholesterol actually made up by your body. 30% is coming from a diet. So your, the hypercholesterolemia is not because of the diet. It's just because your body needs cholesterol to metabolize the lipids that you have in your body. Yeah. So this is just the fact. So cholesterol is not one of the uh, factors contributing to heart disease, contributing to your vascular disease, yeah? Because heart disease, although it's number one, cardio heart disease, although it's number one, stroke uh, in Malaysia is also a top 10. 
So if the blockage to the uh, to the at the brain, it will cause stroke. So if the blockage at the iota or the uh, main uh, blood vessels, it will uh, near the heart it will be called ischemic heart disease or heart failure. And if the blockage is in your limbs, yeah, the limbs of your peripherals, you call peripheral artery disease. It's the same treatment when you go to hospitals. If there is a blockage to you at your limb and causing the blood clot, a blood circulation, uh, blood uh, supply to your limbs, then the same procedure where stents and also and uh, the plasty angioplasty will happen. Yeah. So the next thing is now we also heard of colon attack. That means the clot is happening at the colon vessels, the blood vessel at the colon. So it's jamming the blood supply to the colon. So the plaque can be everywhere. So very important, the factors just now I have shown you, okay, uh, I have repeated many times, not only the LDL control, not only the oil that you take. Oil, good oil, in fact, can melt the bad oils. But just that if your dietary and lifestyle doesn't change, especially oxidation, oxidation can change can happen when you are stressed, when you when you exposed to uh you, you can't uh you can't sleep, yeah, you are not sleeping well, and then you don't exercise, as well as exposed to a lot of uh, chemicals and all is also the oxidation stress and inflammation, inflammation in your body. And then we found that a lot of information can be happening where, uh, especially to the diabetic patient. A uh, diabetic patient, regardless you are type 1 or type 2, you tend to have more information compared to a normal healthy subjects. So to prevent from coronary, cor coronary vascular disease, not only the heart disease, we encourage you to take care of these three factors. Yeah, Especially control your blood sugars and even though you, when you check at the middle, you're checking when you go to, you have a blood test in hospital and showing that, hey, your HbA1c is normal or uh, your blood sugar is normal, not your HbA1c is normal. Your blood sugar is normal. Doesn't mean that you are not diabetic. If you, are con you like a sweet, you, you are having a sweet tooth and you like sweeteners, you on and off go and have bubble teas, uh, uh, coffee with cream, yeah, high sugars. If you are consistently spiking up the blood sugars in your body and your insulin is relentlessly have to come out and work. So it's also contributing to this uh, metabolic disorder. So the more sugars you feed your body, the membrane, the cell membranes is going to deteriorate. This is the fact. Yeah. So unsaturated fatty acid has been proven to reduce the amount of LDL and increase the HDL. But HDL, they apply beside of that really, your exercise or physical activity is also play a very important role or in terms of uh, increasing the HDL. So a uh, high density of lipoprotein has to come from physical, uh, physical activities, less stress, and also uh, good, uh, good dietary fats. Yeah, so with this, uh, with the omega three prevents, uh, it's already proven that they have this anti uh, anti thrombotic effects. Yeah, thrombotic effects. So, it's better. It's also we if you uh according to this biomed research international, yeah, we according to this uh biomed research international. The increase of ALA consumption have markedly increased the membrane fluidity. Yeah, fluidity and efficiency of forming lipid raft. So, the stronger lipid raft that you have, the stronger membrane against the uh, against the the foreign foreigners like virus and bacteria. So it has a very good uh, uh this this antivirus uh, effects if you taking a good fats. So that is why this study is coming out that a lipidation, lipidation increase the antiviral activities in your membranes because you know that coronavirus actually like to attach the spiral the spike actually like to attach to your ACE2, the ACE2, right? The angiotensin 2 
inhibitor, uh, angiotensin inhibitor. So, by lipidi lipidase, yeah, forming a strong membranes, strong membranes uh, uh, with good dietary fats, you can have a quite a, a substantial of antiviral activities in the membrane, happen in the membranes. It's also indirectly helping you to combat the uh, virus uh, attack. Yeah, this is uh, the latest studies that shown. So don't quote, quote me. It's studies have shown, then I, I just uh, uh, elaborate as it is. And we found that, yes, so with this, I hereby to encourage you to consume more polyunsaturated fat and monounsaturated fat, especially omega-3, 6, 3 and 6. The ratio has to be a golden ratio 1 to 1, where omega-3 and omega-6 have to almost be 1 to 1 because we know that omega-3 has these anti-inflammatory uh, effects and the omega-6 have the inflammation effects. So these two take, take two to claps together. Yeah. So you see from this table, it's very generous of uh, In Chao Wei to show this uh, chart to everybody, the table to everybody. Shacha In Chi Oil is a very uh, concentrated polyunsaturated fat where omega-3 is almost 45% and omega-6 is 38%. The ratio is almost one to one, almost one to one. Yeah, And the rest like Corona, uh, Kalona oil, a canola, sorry, <laughs> Corona. <laughs> I am, we are always combined by the Corona. Canola oil, uh, coconut oil, the corn oils, all are, all these are cooked. Uh, yeah, the, the melting point is quite high, so it's meant for cooking. Yeah, so you can't compare to uh, Sacha Inchi because Sacha Inchi oil cannot be cooked. Yeah, yeah, it's not meant for cooking, it's meant to consume directly. Yeah, so olive oil, palm oil, uh, the sunflower oils have very high omega-6. Yeah, flat seed is so high in omega-3 and it can be consumed. Uh, yeah, sorry, I uh, suddenly out of this. Can you still see? Yep, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you see, canola or a uh, flaxseed, uh, very high in omega three. Yeah. Also, cannot. Uh, it's not recommended for cooking, but very low in six. We can't taking a non. Uh, I mean, imbalance ratio of three and six because we know that every intake of omega three and six is better to, if you want to have a non. Uh, 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 to to contribute to a good. Uh, optimal health, the ratio has to be 1 to 1 or 1 to 4 the max. That means uh, 1 to 4, yes. 1 ratio of omega-3 to 4 ratio of omega-6, that's the most. But currently, our diet in Asia, mostly, is 1 to 16. So, it's better to take in, if you know, the effect or the beneficial of taking polyunsaturated is so much important. From now on, choosing a right cooking oil and also uh, choosing a right diet, shun away from all the unprocessed, uh, the processed uh, refined sugars is most important as well as the trans fats, hydrogenated fats. That is utmost important. So prevent from coronary heart disease. Yeah. So. The highest food contents of omega-3, yeah, alpha, uh, our incha oil actually is alpha linolenic acids, yeah, it's a form of alpha linolenic acid, and 93, almost 93%, yeah, incha oil is comprised of polyunsaturated, and the ratio is one to one, yeah. So let's, uh, we go into this, why I, today I'm talking to, or uh, talking about plant-based diet, talking about good fats, because in Chawe is a company that advocates the concept of green diets. Yeah, they believe functional food, especially the greens, can regulate and promote health. So it's so, so that is why the products that they have or they are promoting is filled with functional benefits. Functional benefits like omega three six nine, 
like uh, uh, rice brands or germs or yeah so we do have a uh, phyto phyto straw that we need yeah so this is the 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 importance of dietary fats that we need especially in the trending now yeah in the trending now so we have a lot of uh, products here of course today we are I'm, I'm, I'm stressing on incha oil yeah I'm stressing on incha oil and uh, of course we do have uh, balance and rich which is the purple rice oils and uh, rice bran and gems oil which give very high uh, all right yeah antioxidants to the body yeah and also phytosterol can reduce the uh, the control the cholesterol uh, effectively yeah so from here what we emphasize what what are we, uh, just now what we talk about is sacha inchi right sacha inchi oil it's coming from american uh, american amazon river uh, it's it's coming from there but uh, 2500 years ago so now uh, in Chawi have a have a uh, uh, 2000 kind of uh, actors of uh, 2000 actors of uh, a land in Laos and planting uh, this seed, uh, this uh, uh, shasha inchi, and to process, co press, process it, and to be a uh, 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 benefit uh, the, the population in Asia, uh, Asia Pack here. So, for shasha inchi, you can see here is 93% uh, of, uh, of the oil, of this oil, actually comprised of 369. And 9% is coming from the vitamin E. So it's very high vitamin E as well. So you can see almost 80% is polyunsaturated. Omega 9, we our body can produce our uh, uh, our body can produce uh, by ourselves. Yeah. But uh, omega 3 and 6, we can't make it. So we can't make it, we have to take from food. So how to take from food? You can't cook the polyunsaturated. It's better not to cook because easily it's not stable and easily uh, uh, oxidized. So it's better to take raw. Yeah. So omega three function here. Uh, I'm again stressing improve the hyper hypertension, enhance the immune system, and prevention of diabetes. Uh, this is what we have been showing just now. Yeah. Because the Leon diet and also Mediterranean diets have been proven to reduce the parameters. Um, the the parameters of coronary heart disease, yeah, and a cancer prevention of this. This also, if your cell membranes it flexible and you do have a good cholesterol forming the membranes, of course, your communication, the signaling communication within the membranes, it's and it, it will be function very well, yeah, because cholesterol it's meant to function to give signals to the membranes whether they to absorb nutrients, uh, to uh, to to let any foreigners come in like virus or bacteria or shun away from virus or bacteria the membrane play a very vital role so that is why taking up a good fats it's very important now especially now the pandemic the pandemic of corona covid 19 yeah so recommendation daily intake is around uh uh, you can see from children two years old and above three grams a day, yeah, two uh two years old three gram per day. So if you uh to translate to ml, yeah, because such a inch oil come in very convenient pack, uh, ml three ml a pack. You have uh sachet form and also bottle form, yeah. So for two to five years old, you, you can take one ml a day. Uh, six years old to and onwards, we recommend uh half packets, yeah, half packets. But if the ch uh, children actually quite big size, yeah, because nowadays uh childrens are some of the children are quite overweight, so they are weighing more than forty five years uh forty five kg at six or eleven years old. We recommend three ml also, yeah, three ml is by the kg calculation by the the weight. And 80 years old and above, we encourage a pack. That's mean 3 ml per day. So for those who are suffering physical discomfort, uh, it's better to reduce down the dosage a bit. Uh, if you have 
uh, if you also, for those who already suffer from metabolic disorders like um, hyperlipidemia, hypercholesterol, and uh, uh, diabetes, yeah, and also high triglycerides, right? we recommend, uh, I believe you are also taking, for those uh, members who are taking, who have this metabolic disorder, they also taking medicine. So we encourage you to take half an hour after taking your Sacha Inchi oil. So it's best to take together, Sacha Inchi oil is best to take together with food. Yeah, it is best to take it to, uh, together with food. But of course, it's a functional food. You can take before food or after food. It depends on your condition, your physical condition. Now, some of the people have this uh, stomach discomfort, have this uh, bloated uh, uh, stomachs, and also uh, constipation. Then we encourage you to take just after your meal, yeah, with your meal or just after your meal, right away after your meal. And if you do not have any uh, stomach discomforts or gastric, then you take before food. It's just nine. What? Why? You, uh, I strongly encourage you to take with food, especially you have high fat food, huh? you take such a enjoy with you because we there is a lab study showing that especially <coughs> especially humans with uh, a subject with uh, uh, metabolic disorders, uh, high, hyperlipidemia, hyperpressure and all this, they it's proven that if such a enjoy taking with high fat food they within the four hours the total cholesterol and triglycerides actually doesn't really spike up in fact there is a reduction of the triglyceride level in the blood so this within the four hours so that is why it's encouraged to take with food yeah so uh it it's better to control the triglyceride level in your body yeah, it's proven to control, yeah, when, especially when you take high fat food. Yeah. And then for uh for those who just suffer, I mean just suffer from stroke, uh, just for less than uh less than three months, doctors will prescribe coagulant agent, anti-coagulant agent like warfarin, uh aspirin, anti-thrombotic agent to you. So encourage, I advise not to take uh, such a mutual oil every day. Just take alternate day or three days, one pack. So every three days, one pack. So for the first two weeks, because you have, uh, you are taking anti-thrombotic agent with you. Yeah, you, you are taking the uh, anticoagulant drugs with you. So it's better to take alternate or three days uh, every uh, one pack. Three days, three ml. Yeah, every three days, three ml. So, but after, if if you are back to normal diet, a stroke patient back to normal diet after, uh, three months to four months, if you are back to your dietary lifestyles, you can eat a normal food and also eat a normal food and, uh, and and especially high fat food. We recommend that you take uh such a inch oil together because. It's proven to reduce inflammation and also is a blood scavenger. So uh, it's very important for those metabolic uh, disorder patients uh, or those who suffer from hyperlipidemia, high triglyceride, hypercholesterol, and also uh, stroke patient or even uh, those patients with high attacks, uh, those who already pass uh, secondary uh, the, the coronary heart disease, they have coronary heart disease, it's better to consume omega-3 in your diet. Yeah. And we also have diet, we, I have already shown you uh, earlier, the lean, the Leon diet yeah, for heart actually have proven to reduce the parameters of uh, metabolic disorder, especially the cholesterol and reduce the mortality rate as well. So consuming a good fat is very important yeah, for metabolic uh, syndrome uh, uh, patient. So how to take it? Uh, very easy. You can take it directly. You can mix it with your your salads or even oats. Yeah, mix it with any any food that is not hot or uh yeah, it's not hot hot. And you can't cook. Yeah, so it's better to take it with just normal warm uh warm water. Cold drinks also uh should be fine.
So for those who are allergy to um, for those who are allergy to this uh, peanuts, uh, you may have a discomfort when coming to uh, taking sacha in ghee oil. So if you are having this discomfort, uh, we advise you to cut down the dosage from one pack to half a pack to see that the uh, the the adverse events is still there. Like if you are facing diarrhea, itchiness, rash, rashes. Uh, after taking his in G oil, then you can reduce the dosage. Yeah. So in chai oil have mixed 16 standards. Uh, 16 standards, very rich in omega-3, high unsaturated fat, almost 93%. And it's uh because we are uh culti cultivating the uh, or planting the sacha in chai is planting the sacha in chai oil themselves, they have they have their plantations uh in Laos. So the, they are using original ecology uh, cultivation system and it's of course GM, GMO free, fertilizer free, pesticide free, so of course. And there are a lot of GMP certification. So one thing I want to stress here is the low acid value. Low acid value is not every oil in the industry can maintain. Yeah? So in Cha uh, Wei have been given the uh, granted that they are the acid value of the oil is very low, means it's very fresh. It can be consumed directly. Yeah, it's very fresh. So it's good to our health. Yeah, very fresh, cold press. Yeah, so it's the advanced virgin cold press technology. So for those who, is, it, it can be taken by the vegetarians, uh, even um, our Muslim friends also can be taken because we have halasat. Yeah, and uh, we have, 10 million uh, product liability insurance. So why should you worry? Yeah, pure natural vegetarians, trans fat free, rich, free, and also rich in vit uh, vitamin E. So this is the 16 standards that in Chawe company are uh, uh, in Chawe are, are granted to you and proven that these oils can be consumed. Yeah, can be added to your uh, uh, to your diet and to, it's part of the macronutrients. Yeah, it's part of the macronutrients. So this is a uh, um the Malaysian diets that we encourage, but of course there are a lot of uh plate. Uh, yeah, Malaysian calling Malaysian healthy plate, but also a plate because uh, a healthy plate. What we call healthy plate here is to control people from eating more. Malaysian have been uh, ranking number one in uh, Asia, uh, pack yeah, uh, in terms of obesity. So encouraging people to take low carbohydrate or uh, restrict the carbohydrate is very important because uh, especially the rice noodles bread the high sugars because sugars and diabetes have been also affecting Malaysian as well so I don't know uh, Singapore or how the uh, diabetes mellitus status but I believe uh, we, we already know cardiovascular is the number one uh, 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 death causes of uh, Singaporean yeah so it's, brought, it's better to cut down the carbohydrate uh, intake and choose good oil, especially polyunsaturated oil. And then you see half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. And please avoid high fructose or high GI fruits uh, and, and choose those fruits that is uh, low GI if you are diabetic. Yeah? Choose more vegetables, preferably half of your plate. Your protein should be half of your palm. Yeah? Choosing a good protein is very important because it's good as acid amino is the form, these are raw materials to our uh, lymphocyte, uh, the, the immune system, raw material to our immune, uh, immune system cell. So our white blood cell is all formed out by these uh, good proteins. So if you are not taking or you are day in and day out are taking very a uh, monotonous kind of diet or same diet, uh, I always eat, eat chicken, I always eat fish only, then it's better if you want to take a very uh, comprehensive diet, we suggest Salpro. Salpro have a very uh, uh, comprehensive uh, dietary, um, no, so that's the, the vitamins and um, proteins. They have 18 acid, acid aminos uh, in, in the packets, just one packet and very low GI. Yeah, uh, very low GI and go for diabetic patient. 
Uh, and also, uh, it's it's better to take uh, with uh, 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 especially if you are having a spiking or or your blood sugar is not controlled. It's better to take cell pro together because cell pro have this uh have the ingredients that can control your blood sugar level not to spike up so uh so sporadically. Yeah. So if we have chance, we will talk about talk more about cell cell pro. But if your your diet, you are a uh, uh, workaholics or your uh, uh, white collar groups uh, hardly cooking it at home and then you want a comprehensive uh, uh, supplements in terms of your antioxidants and proteins as well as the uh, minerals vitamins you can take cell pro cell pro or they already provide you sufficient of almost more than 50 kind of uh, uh, 50 kind of uh, uh, nutrients in your uh, for your body yeah so this is what we call cell pro yeah a 5g uh uh 5g uh, uh, uh what you call 5g uh functional food okay supplement food i'll call it supplement yeah to your to your diet can be a supplement to your diet and we advise you to take it in the morning because Breakfast is the most important uh, to our uh, our daily uh, ex uh, total energy expenditure. Yeah. So this is what uh, I can show you from Cellpro. Eleven phytochemicals, ten free radical scavengers, uh, antioxidants. They have eighteen acid amino. Eight out of eighteen, eight is the essential acid amino that we need in the body that we can't produce. So. 21 vitamins and uh, uh, minerals that you need. So almost uh, nearly 50 minerals that can can uh, supply to our body. Yeah. So in char oil, having the safe and efficacy, uh, effective uh, uh, certification. Yeah, SGS uh, from SGS, and um, so. Uh, lastly, before I end the talk, um, that's the last piece of the why dietary in intake proportion. We need to reduce the process of re refined cardiovascular uh, uh, carbohydrates, especially the foods uh, high in fructose, fried food, alcohol, and sweet, uh, uh, sweeteners. Yeah, this this uh important. This is very important because it's important. Is affecting our uh, everyday our lifestyles because when you walk out from your house, you can see almost uh the I will every almost every row of the shops will have fast food. Yeah, have these bubble teas and all sweeteners and all these things easily the fried foods easily available everywhere. So you need to consciously taking the process uh not taking the process and refines carbohydrates. Take high dietary fibers, vitamins, and minerals, and consume good fats. Yeah, the good fats include of poly uh, mainly polyunsaturated fat and omega 3, 6, 7, 9. Yeah, this is the good fat that we need to take in. And take plenty of water. What I mean here is warm water, plain water, yeah, which is good for hydration, yeah, replenishment of the, the body. Yeah. So with that. Uh, I will end my uh, session and uh, now I will open, uh, open up for Q&A for the floor to um, yeah. throw your questions. Yeah, thanks Miss Heidi. Thanks for all the explanation. So now it's Q&A, right? So everyone, you can just write down your question or if you have any question, you can just raise your hand or you just type in at the chat. Then we can take out one by one and then we can discuss on it. Let me see. Uh. If there any questions, you can just raise your hand, then I can unmute you. So, any question or? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's one. Can you see at the chat? Brown rice and whole grain bread are good carbohydrates. Should we also cut down on this? Um, yeah, I'm. We encourage whole grain uh, carbohydrates. Yeah, that is very good. But uh, what uh, the if you con if you according to the uh, Leon diets uh, for hearts, if you are suffering from heart disease, then the percentage of carbohydrates, the refined carbohydrates, have to cut down. Uh, this is the advice. So they are not uh, cutting down any uh, whole grain carbohydrates. Yeah, uh, you still can take legumes, whole grain carbohydrates. Just continue taking it, which is good. But just that the percentage of uh, taking we now emphasize on the percentage because, uh, as I show you just now, the uh, uh, if you have seen the Leon diets, uh, especially for coronary coronary heart disease. 30% uh, of the oil that they take, the dietary fat they take, 20% actually is from polyunsaturated. Yeah, so carbohydrate we still maintain at 40 to 50%. So it's better to take from whole grain. Yeah, you are right. So we are encouraging to take from mm, you from the, but there is a small uh, uh, focusing on the percentage, percentage, yeah. So I hope I understand your question, uh, Maggie. Then the next will be Sharon. My skin flare ups uh, very easily and very itchy. It had been taking four packs of Incha oil. Could I be allergic to the uh, oil? You mean uh, Sharon, Sharon, you are taking, taking four packs a day, four sachet of uh, Incha oil, three ml a day, means 12 ml. Yes, she said yes. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So if you are having itchiness, uh, it's not that... Uh, prop, okay, if you have an itchiness and flare-ups, it's better to cut down the, the incha oil, okay? It doesn't mean that you are uh, allergic to uh, uh, sacha inchi, but just that high dose of uh, sacha inchi may have some discomfort effects if you take right away very high dose high dosage so it's better to increase gradually not to take it uh uh by wow suddenly take it four packs so uh may i know what's the purpose of, of you taking uh, four packs a day Oh, uh, while waiting for Sharon to answer, well, uh, I will answer Peg, Peg Hong. Yeah, Peg Hong's question. My friend is taking medicine that uh, thinner the blood, yeah, blood thinner agent, but the but taking uh, intra oil every day, he is fine. Yeah, it depends on uh, individual. Yeah, so individual, as I said, uh, for those who are taking the blood thinning agent, some of the kidney agents, uh, the dosage is quite high, especially for, for those who just suffer from strokes. Yeah? Hospitals or doctors are prescribing very high dosage of anticoagulant drugs. So it's better to, it's better to, uh, to control the Sacha in Qi uh, intake because it also will affect the, because you know, uh, Sacha in Qi oil have 48% uh, of omega-3 and omega-3 it's also having anti-thrombotic effects in the blood vessels so we are uh, encourage you uh, uh, if if he is uh, taking uh, every day and doesn't have any side effect of blood thinning agent then it's fine it's fine so just continue because for those who already uh, used to the coagulant agents and they are go, go, uh, going for dietary normal dietary lifestyle like high fat food they already taking normal dietary lifestyle uh, diet then they can take sacha inchi oil yeah so if they do not have anything they should consume polyunsaturated fat daily
So Sharon, uh, thanks for your uh, uh, answer. Yeah, uh, my advice is to gradually increase. But if you have uh, this itchiness when you reach four packs, then that means your body can only tolerate up to three. That means 12 ml a day. So it's okay, you just maintain a 12 ml every every meal, yeah, every meal, oh, so, sorry, so uh, 9 ml a day, so close to 10 ml. So it's better to take it with food. So every day taking three packs a day is just fine to you and no problem, yeah. So no need to just stick to 4 ml, yeah. So regarding cell phone, may I know glutathione, uh, arginine, or nitin, where are they extract from? Um. These questions, uh, I'll get back to you uh, later. Yeah, so glutathione uh, actually is from the uh, acid amino uh, that we acid amino that we have. So I will get back to you on this, uh, uh, Jadim. Is it advisable for patients to stop statin medication for HDL and triglyceride cholesterol medication after years of taking it? 20 mg statin. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a million dollar question, yeah, Maggie. A good question here. All right, so I'm showing you here uh, earlier. Cholesterol drugs, they have the purpose. If the patients are not controlling the blood cholesterol or the uh, they are Information and the thrombotic effects, uh, the plaques in their bodies are not controlling by diet and their lifestyle changes. They must take anti-cholesterol drugs. That is inevitable. Yeah. So, but for those, the studies shows, I shows the studies, uh, the professor also suffer from coronary heart disease. And they are very disciplined and very precise in choosing the right fats, the right diets, and also very specifically, uh, even saturated fat also they have to control. Saturated fat, not more than 8%. And the polyunsaturated fat must be 20%. Yeah, but out of, out of the 30% of fat, 20% is the polyunsaturated fat and must take from the... Uh, Whole food. I mean the whole food. So it's better from the studies here. They are reversing the cholesterol, the the, the uh, sorry the metabolic disorder by reversing the uh, the plaque, reversing the formation of a plaque. This is proven in the studies. All right. But to encourage people to drop their cholesterol medication, I would say question here because the the lifestyles and dietary and the condition of the people had to be strictly changed yeah strictly changed is by the consent of the uh, doctors and the patients as well as the patient itself had to diligently go on a restrict diet we can't advise people to just simply uh, drop down the anti cholesterol drugs uh, if the patient is just and, and not changing their lifestyle and not changing their dietary. Yeah. So the point here is not dropping the anti cholesterol, to, not to advise everybody to drop the anti cholesterol drug because we don't know, we cannot control the condition. It only can control by themselves. And this piece of information is to encourage people. What I showed just now, the metric diet, the, um, the, the Leon diets, uh, to show people that, that by diet alone, you can reduce the dosage of anti-cholesterol drugs and reverse the condition of metabolic disorder. So, so your question, uh, I can, uh, my advice is not to advise, but you can encourage a patient the Leon diet the Leon diet, if they want to reverse the condition, yeah? And simvastatin 20 mg, yeah? Simvastatin, it's been proven, uh, long-term taking it, it will cause brain fog, brain fog, uh, and also myalgia, the muscle, muscle uh, dysfunction or 
uh, muscle discomfort or and reduce in the muscle to produce coenzyme Q10. So this has been proven and a lot of studies have been uh, showing this. So if they can change their diet, change their diet, change their lifestyles, then of course uh, the study have shows the dosage of the anti-cholesterol drug has been reduced. Hmm. This is what I say. So I'm not a doctor to reduce, uh, to advise them not to, uh, not to take because I do not know their condition. They know, they know their, their condition the best and they need to be responsible for, the, uh, for their health, you see. So same time he's taking incha oil. So now my question here is for those metabolic disorder patients, especially coronary heart disease patients, you need to choose a good fat in your diet and choose a plant-based diet because uh, what I sh today I shared here, the plant-based diet, the evidence has been showing that it reduces the mortality rate or uh, reverse the condition, uh, especially the Leon diet, huh? not plant-based only. The Leon diet also go for fish, go for meat. The Leon diet, Mediterranean diet, focus on rich in alpha linolenic acid have been proven to increase, reduce the mortality rate of uh, coronary heart disease by 50 to 70%. I'm not saying reversing the parameters. So you need to strictly follow the diet here. So choosing a right fat is the first step. Now it's good. They are using sacha inji oil. Yeah, very good. Uh, polyunsaturated fat. And now their diet, how they take their diet? Are they still continue to take com, uh, refined carbohydrate, bad fats, fast food still taking? Then we can't control. Yeah, we can't control and we can't guarantee. You see? So, uh, I am, uh, okay, Diana, you are asking me in child well. Is it correct? In chow well once a week enough? Uh, I, I, I don't understand the question, uh, Diana. So then the... I also have, there's another question. Uh, she also asked that, can I take Apple X daily? Okay. Who, who is asking the question? Uh, Diana. I oh. Think she's private. Yeah, yeah, she's private. So the first one she asked, uh, can she uh, can take a whole daily? And the second one she asked is, in chow well, uh, is it once for, like once a week is enough, like one packet for a week, is it enough? <laughs> yeah. In chow well, uh, it's a very high in anti-inflammatory properties, like uh, having the, uh, 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 the, uh, 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 okay, uh, and then the, the other one will be uh, Aqua X, right? So Aqua X, in well and Aqua X, I, uh, the turmeric, sorry, it suddenly doesn't come in. The turmeric powders, beta carotene is very high in beta carotene, turmeric uh, uh, ingredient, uh, ingredients inside. It's very high inflammatory properties. And for you to take daily, also, is good, especially at this um, this uh, pandemic, uh, coron uh, COVID nineteen's uh, COVID nineteen's uh, uh, periods. You see, and then the another thing will be Aqua X. I uh, I will get back to you for Aqua X because um, it's meant for the. I, I'm not so sure. I will get back to you for Aqua X whether to take it uh, daily or not. Sure, hmm. sure. So anyone, if you have questions, yeah, there's one. Kala, yeah. How should how should we interpret the HDL and LDL level? Hmm. Okay, there is a, a normal levels uh, at the site, right? So if you have uh, your HDL and LDL levels. In the blood report, they will uh, highlight in red if you are exceeding the normal levels at the site. So uh, we encourage you to see 
to compare to the normal levels. Yeah. So, so if you have this uh, LDL more or HDL more, it doesn't mean that uh, you are prone to stroke or prone to uh, uh, this heart disease. Yeah, as I shared earlier, cholesterol is not, LDL cholesterol is not the factor, the only factor that contribute to arteriosclerosis. The insulin and also the hyperpressure is the most important thing and information ox oxidization of the lipid, the LDL uh, cholesterol is the most important thing. So oxidative stress information is the one of the uh, important uh, factors contributing to uh, arteriosclerosis and also coronary heart disease. So HDL, we... Uh, here, I will also assume that you want me to explain what is HDL, right? HDL is to, uh, to help you to metabolize the LDL in the body. That means your LDL, when you, it's both of them also are a Korean man, kind of lah. Yeah, we are just uh, making an example. A Korean man, when you have high fat food or high blood, uh, high sugars in your body, the sugars will turn to triglycerides and triglycerides or high fats, uh, lipids in your body, LDL will come out to help you to carry the fats to be absorbed into cell. So they are do doing their job. LDL is just uh, doing the job by collecting the fats and then to be absorbed uh, by your cell. So then once they did, the, uh, did their job, HGL is supposed to come out and pick up the LDL to go back to L, uh, your liver and to oxidize. So the more HGL, the better. Mm. So here, my presentation today is here is regardless how high or how low your LDL doesn't matter. More important thing here is you need to see the triglyceride, your insulin, your HbA1c, whether it exceed the normal, yeah, exceed the normal and threatening you because this is the parameter that we are measuring the risk of getting coronary heart disease, not only cholesterol. And cholesterol not important, uh, not say not important. It's just one of the factor. And with this one factor, it really can't contribute to uh, arteriosclerosis. You need information, you need hyperpressure, you need insulin, uh, this high blood sugars and oxidation happen, then only the, the uh, calcification or artery, arteriosclerosis can happen. Yeah? I hope I answers your question. In your blood report, it will show you the normal, the normal ratio of HDL, the total cholesterol, the total cholesterol level, the HDL, the LDL. Yeah, HDL suppose not more than uh, forty. Yeah, LDL is not more than yeah. It's it's a range. Yeah, it, it will be the range there, and then triglyceride is the most important thing you should look at. That is the uh, blood lipid because there is studies also show that the higher the triglyceride, the lower your HDL. Yeah. So your liver is functioned in a way that huh, when, they, when you eat a lot of blood uh, 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 dietary fats or bad, uh, eat outside food, uh, professed food, high fat foods outside, then your body tends to increase the triglyceride, right? Your blood lipids, your blood basics will suit up. And then the process of HDL will definitely low because your liver need to produce LDL to, to go and keep the triglyceride in your body. Ma. So that is the, that is the uh, um, theory here. You see? So that is why if you control your dietary blood lipids, your triglyceride, you will tend to increase your HDL. So if you eat, eat a good fat, and exercise, your HDL will also increase. HDL increase is better because it helps you to collect back your, H, uh, v, uh, your v, uh, LDL. Yeah, your LDL. So, but as I say here, both is only, do, is, is only doing their job. 
Yeah, so the most important thing is to see your insulin level, your blood glucose level, your triglyceride level. Yeah, to see whether you are controlling your diet or not. Mm. Does such an injury oil contain saponin? Uh, no. What I understand? Uh, no. Priscilla? Yeah, Priscilla. Mm. Priscilla. Okay, so the next one is back home. Ah. Uh, I got eczema first week. I take only one pack. Uh, then right left arms and neck itchy for four days. I gone off and then come back again. A little bit itchy on my skin. Illness uh, say no cure, but I know incha oil can cause my skin and health is getting better and better. Just started at 21. I uh, uh, got Bell's palsy on 31st. They'll say some people need 3 to 6 months to recover, but I take only 8 days. But I also take cell pro. I go back, check up. Doctor say what you eat, why you recover 90%. Then I say if I take incha oil. You let if. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Yeah, yeah which is. Uh, very good. If you can recover from your bowel palsy, which is very good, you see. Congratulations. I'm say to thanks to my friends. I uh, got others mainly have problem, but I hope I type here slow. I think uh, over sixteen years, uh, fifty k only. Oh, I can save me. <laughs> so pick. Pig Hong actually is saying that um, after taking, he has a gym, uh, Pig Hong has this uh, eczema and also uh, bowel palsy. Yeah. Bowel palsy. And after taking incha oil and the uh, cell pro, it improved tremendously. So, doctors also amazed by the improvements. And I would say if food can help you continue to take the food, which is good, I would say very good. Congratulations. Yeah, you have chosen the right food. Uh, please continue taking it. Yes, yes. Huh? Oh, mian tan ah. Ah, stroke. Uh, uh, after stroke, the sun. Ah, is after stroke? stroke. Uh 就是说是细菌感染的问题啊 
，它 form 起来的那个呃那个墙啊，细胞膜，我们的细胞的墙墙城墙呢，会比较好。然后呢，对付它是更好的，可以帮我们呃 shun away， 就是说可以呃避免我们去接触这些细菌感染和和这个。和这个细菌发炎的地方啊，因为我们有发炎呢、啊，细菌容易进来，所以呃，那个呃，之前我我收的这个嗯、呃、，saturated 呃 ，saturated polyunsaturated fat 和 satur 呃，这个 short fatty acid actually improve the permeability of the membranes and also the flexibility of the membranes and improve the cell wall， 真的是很好的。然后还有这个 lipidation 那个 studies， 刚才我们之前不是说说呃收了，就是说 lipidation， lipid lipidation 呃、uh, actually will help to improve our antiviral effects 嘛，那个 membranes 的 antiviral effects。你的 case actually proven 了咯，如果是细菌感染的那个皮呃层次哈、哦，在你的皮肤膜那边哈、哦，它是呃如果摄取好的油脂，就是可以帮忙你。去掉这些疾病哦，这些也是吓到嘞，嗯，才是八天嘞，我都吓到，因为我说我去照眼镜，啊，我说眼镜可以打了，对我嘴巴也没有这么歪，真的九十八天了，哦，很开心，而且我我自己本身还有很多病哎，很好很好，这这有我自己本身有十多年的胃胀风，嗯，十多年吃了吃了五十千的，哇，五十千的包，啊对，因为我每个月要花两两。保健品，我吃了十六年呢，没有一个产品哦可以帮到我，因为呃之前那个营养老师有讲说，好像那种一粒一粒的哦，那 tablet 或者是 cap capsule 的东西，我们呃的那个肠不肠肠道呃吸收不好，你的肠道不懂啦，不会讲，他说你的肠道哦如果吸收不好的话哦，吃什么一粒一粒的哦，它是不会吸收的，他说油就不同嘛，所以我就试试看嘛，因为我没有喝过油。嗯，所以我后了哦，咦，奇怪，我从来没有七点半哦起床大便的。虽<笑>然我以前哦，我是每次大一条哎，但现在哦，我是大很多嘞，它的分量很多。然后就是呃，打鹅也会少一点，然后还有我的呃那个 weight 哦，本来是五十二公斤，我十多年来哦，我没有四十九公斤哎，你看我才我还喝不到一个月。我的肚腩也小掉哎，很开心哎。我可以问一下你，你一天大概吃多少包？哦，从从第一个星期我吃一包，第二个星期我有加一包啦。连呃，小波也是一一包哎哦。啊。哇，很好哎，真的很好。对，很很好，很好。最主要可以治疗到你的这个疾病啊，哦。哦，对哦，不然十六年了，我一直在找我这个产品哎呦。没有人来找我。嗯，十六年了，五十千不小数目嘞。五十千我可以买，银价位好多嘞。<笑>谢谢你的分享。嗯，谢谢你的分享。我我会去分享给朋友啊，开心。啊，多多分享，因为这个这个 K 虽然少哈，不过是因为是 immunity 的问题哈，有时候 over stress 啊。呃，我我之前。呃，也 share 过嘛，呃，新加坡它是一个很 productive、highly productive 的、啊、呃公司啊、呃，这个国家，所以因为你们你们的这个 population 都是在四十二，都是很超，很会 produce 哈，都是很压力的哈，你全部都是要做到最好的哈，<笑>所以压力一定会有的，所以压力呃，如果我们的身体不能承受的话，有时候会出现很多很多的我们自己都不能解决的问题。所以，呃，很好的是说，你自己会锲而不舍的去寻找，寻找对你身体，你你不会去放弃你的身体啊。一就是很好，是在这边啊,啊,啊，真的。一直在吃，一直吃吃。对，我什么保健品都有 ，M V、New Skin。啊，不过我我我自己本身有有呃，就是因为我曾经也是在。呃，药行里做过嘛，对吗？所以呃呃，我卖过 medication， 就是药，所以很多的药哈、哦，很多的药都用这个 capsule 来 capsulate 它，所以这个 capsule 哈、哦、都是不是来自 b o v i n e 就是来自 p o s i n e 所以就是说不是不是牛皮，就是
呃，不是牛皮就是猪皮嘛，都是猪皮就是呃，不是猪油就是牛油牛油啦，意思是讲啦，他他们的 capsule 就是 made from that。Of course, latest， 呃，现在越来越有这很多的 veggie cap， 不过这个 veggie cap 呃来自哪里我们也不知道，所以呃，你要摄取的是那个 capsule 里面的 ingredients。So it's better now we， it's not that 呃。Uh, supplements is not good. I'm not saying supplement is not good. It's better to take from whole whole food. 然后印加果是一个很自然的食物来的，所以我们讲是食物，它不是一个，就是说它是你的其中一个叫做，呃，六大营养素里面的其中一个重要的营养素啊，叫做 polyunsaturated fat 哈啊,啊，不饱和脂肪酸，所以是很重要的一个食品来的。所以可能你之前哈、啊，就说你的十年前你的。你的食品啊，你的所所吃的食物里面都很少有这个，呃 ，polyunsaturated fat， 啊，好的不饱和脂肪酸，所以一吃到了过后，你的身体的那些状况就可以啊、呃、迎刃而解了，一一就好转起来。所以恭喜你，恭喜你 ，Congratulations， 对 ，Thanks for the sharing， 谢谢你，白红。其实不是到五十前了，我还有去看中医针灸，还有看西医，什么药都吃，是不会好。哇，辛苦了说，哎呀，我就求一求上帝，希望有有一个药，哎，有一个食品也可以给我，哎呀，治一治我的病啊，哎呦，好可怜，辛苦哎。好，终于，终于，上帝回答你了，<笑>谢谢你，谢谢你。终于找到余威了。嗯，终于找到余威了。还有大家还有问题吗 ？Anyone see if you have any question? If you have any question, maybe we can take one more question. Or if you have questions, maybe you can raise your hand as well. So before maybe we can wait for one question. Then before that, maybe we can take a photo now. So guys can just switch on your camera, then I'll snap photo, snap the photo, yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah, you guys can on your camera so that we can take a photo together. So I think some of you guys ready, right? Hi. So maybe I'll see how many. Okay. Okay. So I said three, two, one. Then we now it's snap. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. I'll take another one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Thank you. Yeah, I've got a lot of smiles on the photo. Wow, that's good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you all for attending my webinar. And I'm glad that you are sharing and also some of the questions here. I hope I understand, answer your question. Some of you, I do not, I think I have two questions didn't answer, but I will get back to you after that, yeah, after this session. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Pass a message to them. Yeah, anytime I can pass it to them also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks all. Uh, yeah. having a great day. Hopes you all pass the circuit breaker. Uh, healthily and have a very good optimum health. Yeah. Maintain, yeah. increase your immunity always. Yeah. Thanks, Miss Teddy. Thank you for your share. I think every one of us learn a lot, and then we have a better picture in how nutrition maximizes our health, happiness, and our well being. So really, thanks for this sharing, and I believe that there will be next session coming soon. Also, so we'll thank wait you for very that. Much. Thank yeah. you again. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for facilitating this uh, webinar. Uh, great to see all, all the. Hey, hi, Carol. <laughs> so I uh, like to see you all. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thanks.
Bye bye. Okay, I'm meeting. Hello. Yes, now. Hello. Yes, now. Yes, now. Yes, now. Yes, now. Yes, now. Yes, now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>